All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to what is game number two. We got Infamous Young versus Thunder Predator. Thunder Predator up one game to nothing here in the South American qualifiers for the China Major. Um, break your CPK, joined by Elevated, and we have a Grim Stroke, ladies and gentlemen. So I know that he's been popping up in a couple other regions, but damn it, I wanted the chance to cast this hero, and here we go. We finally get to see some Grim Stroke. It's about damn time. And uh, hey, he's pretty good against Phoenix. How so? Well, the silence, anything that can oh, silence yeah. Phoenix. Does a lot of work, especially since the hero has pretty terrible base attack time. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's my analysis. <laughs> that, that, that's the big thing. I think, like, attack speed, not really the point. But, yeah, I suppose with the silence preventing the egg in the first place, pretty good from Grimstark. But that now also, the... Grim... Go ahead. Just Grim just trades very well against Phoenix in lane as well, just because he has, I believe, five armor base. Phoenix has zero. So, um if you match those two heroes up, Grimstruck's going to win that every single time. Yeah. Um, but now, so the question is, is dear God, they're using a lot of time. <laughs> kind of, we saw this yesterday from them, too. Right? They, they use a lot of their reserve time early. But anyways, um, the synergy with Grimstroke now, specifically with the ultimate, of course. And how do you uh, how do you take advantage of that? Uh, I saw Doom earlier. It seemed to be a couple of games, at least, with a, with a Grimstroke. So Double Doom's nice. Obviously, Lich is there, too. Um, I mean, th there's plenty if that makes sense, but there it is. Dire team there's back. the Doom. I definitely like that combination. Just Doom being Radiant such a strong spell. Back. And the media slark <laughs> went so well last game, so. Yep. Thunder Predator comfortable with their slark performance. Uh, feeling like a tune's ready to continue to build up those stacks of agility. How is he against yeah. Doom, though? Isn't, isn't Doom a little bit concerning with the Doom itself? Ten seconds remaining. Sure. Uh, if if you Dire get Doomed, back. that being said, Radiant you know, Sark can just build back. a Lincoln Sphere or show up to the fights late. Yeah. Um, as far as in the laning stage, Radiant team pick. I think that you know Doom is one of those heroes that is high strength, very low armor, so Sark can do fine against him. He's not being bullied too hard. But obviously, Doom does have the ability to shut down the Sark if he's able to find that Doom in fights. But pretty hard, just because Sark can always uh, Shadow Dance. Ten you know, it's seconds a remaining. Instant cast time gets you out. Five seconds. And untargetable. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, third pick for Infamous Young. Once again, diving into that reserve time, which they don't have much of at this point. So. Gonna need to choose quickly. Morphling did work out for them decently last game, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back that direction at least. Um, I mean, right now, again, not the greatest answer still. Obviously, it's still three picks to go, but clearly uh, confident with the hero, I suppose. So, Although, again, it wasn't the flashiest Morphling game either, really until that last fight where he saw the Sand King take Dire over and could make some solid plays with it. But Juggernaut. Interesting. Okay, they go Juggernaut. I Double Omni? How does that work? Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't actually work? Yeah, that's... It, it doesn't. That's what I was going to say. I don't think it would. No. Um, it just does it to the primary target, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, Jug, it's a hero that... that I mean, Omni Slash itself Ten has been remaining. pretty significantly buffed. That mm. ability seems very strong right now. Jug, Five pretty good against the Phoenix remaining. Egg. Uh, not the best hero against Slark, but... Also a hero that is fairly self-sufficient in the lane and gives them the ability to siege towers and it's just a good all-around hero uh, if you're going to be picking a core this early or you're picking your carry this early you know jug doesn't really care that much about the counters that exist mm -hmm. superior stuns definitely ones that do come to mind though of course um, now that I mentioned that, I mean, <laughs> off the top of my head, nothing that very much so standing out, I suppose. But yeah, and the Magnus span from them too, obviously, would be a good pairing with the Juggernaut. But definitely not seeing that. Yeah, Mag and Enigma 
both BKB producing stuns that have been banned, Axe banned by Thunder Predator, another good counter to Jug. So um, Jug's feeling pretty good, I think. Thunder Predator could still pick up the Bane if they wanted to. Ooh, yeah, that's actually a good one. They do need a, another good, strong laning support, so that could be, could be what we see here. Could also go something like an Undying. Ogre is still there. Get some multicasts on Hannah Midas's. We saw the double Hannah Midas last game. <laughs> All right, well, apparently Thunder Predator is also a little unsure of what they want to do because they, too, are really dipping in and down to 30 seconds now. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they I mean, they were gearing up to run the same strategy and then Amber Spirit Lich were the other two pieces of that that were banned out by Infamous Young. Yeah. So Wind Ranger. The almighty question is, is that going to be a core or a support Wind Ranger at this point? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like most likely, although it was Frank running the Phoenix remaining. last game, right? So it was an off lane Phoenix. No, Five Frank was on Sinking, I thought. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Um, so yeah, I mean, Wind Ranger, probably a core. Otherwise, their supports are Phoenix Wind Ranger, which doesn't feel that good, especially since Slark doesn't provide any control either. Outside of the pounce. Mm -hmm. All right, well, pretty quick centaur response there from Infamous Young and I mean, they kind of have to make it quick, obviously. The uh, reserve time now, like it is. Ten but seconds this would give us more information, too, with this fourth pick and perhaps what the Wind Ranger may end up Five being. Five seconds and remaining. Probably going to be an offlane here, you'd maybe Radiant figure. But... Team ban. Huh, I mean, it doesn't really answer the, the question ultimately still, so. Yep. Is it's it tiny. a support tiny? Is it a support wind ranger? Is it a mid tiny? I think tiny's trending towards being that mid hero now uh, with all the nerfs to the, the tree. Mm -hmm. It's harder to run him as an off laner because he doesn't cleave off of the tree. Five seconds remaining. Still want to get that burst going early. Dire team ban. Final ban, Sand King ban from Infamous Young. So they have a feeling it's... Uh, they, they literally just taken, yeah, the Ember, the Lich, and now the Sand King. <laughs> they just do not want at least those three heroes from the last game. Dire team Forcing pick. Thunder Predator to change it up, say, we dare you to play a different hero. <laughs> As if that's not possible. So yeah, the fifth pick now, again, it is it is really hard to call this because they, they could go so many different directions here. I mean, they could still final pick a Bane, who would Radiant be decent and pick. be that support option. So, okay, they're going to go Lone Druid instead. All right. I suppose Entangle could potentially be pretty good against Juggernaut with that spin. Yeah, we saw Lone Druid run once yesterday by Ritsu, and it was the ranged Lone Druid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and according um, to what you were saying, that, that seems like that's going to be the build. Yeah, it doesn't seem nearly as good against a Five Centaur, seconds, though, just because they have that very reliable tool to get on top of him. But then again, you know, he's almost as fast as a Stampeding Centaur anyway without any boots. Yeah. Me buff. And yeah, that was something I was thinking. Okay, it's Rebo Z. What does he play? He plays Tinker. <laughs> Lots of Tinker, so. Yeah. He played the Tinker yesterday into well then a Storm Spirit. Yeah, and, and then that, that was, was a Storm final pick. Ugly. <laughs> he got trashed. So much much it's definitely a different game this time around, but again, they still have some okay ways to deal with him. But it's it is better. Yeah, much better Tinker game, for sure. Um, the Wind Ranger is going to be a support. Frank yep. playing the offlane Tiny, and Prada back on that Phoenix. Got a mid lone Druid, it looks like. Oh yeah, Demario Planet. 
the tune will end up in Slark again. So mid lone druid versus a mid tinker. How does he do against tinker? Probably all right. I mean, druid does pretty well against just about everybody. Yeah. Tinker's going to have to deal with the bear, right clicking him, whether he lasers the bear or lasers lone druid. Lone druid also has pretty good range and movement speed. So he's going to be getting harassed regardless. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, he can only laser one target. <laughs> you mentioned he has two, so. so it feels like yeah, Jamari should be able to handle himself just fine. Yeah, but at least Robozy pretty unlikely to go down in the laning stage, since Why? you know Phoenix or Wind Ranger not necessarily the best ganking uh, heroes. How does you probably don't know this to be fair, but Grimstroke's ultimate does that work against the Lone Druid and the Bear? Like, would it tie them together? Uh, I don't think so. Well, see, that goes back to the bear is considered a hero unit. So I don't know. But I, I'm trying to think, like, even if it does, like, is that actually better for the lone druid then, <laughs> if that's the case? Cause, Probably. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be close to his bear anyway most of the time. And he's not concerned about like, and then then and then that's not that means it's not happening on a, another team at you or so. But yeah, I don't know. I so you say it probably doesn't. Okay, I suppose we'll see eventually, perhaps. But yeah, I wouldn't think it does. I know it is a hero unit, the bear, but I think it still is somewhat classified as something else. Okay. At the same time. Soulbind, yeah, Grimstroke. Of course, I'm still uh. Gonna get my names together. Stroke of Fate. Phantom's Embrace Inkswell and Soulbind. There we go. Your talents surpass your love. Well, they're going aggressive up here with the Centaur. Yeah, Inkswell with the with the Centaur. Yet another pretty solid setup, it feels like. <laughs> Throw that on him. Thirty seconds to battle. Yeah, definitely giving him that increased movement speed to catch up to people, get the stun, follow up with a centaur stomp. It's a lot of lockdown. But Slark and Wind Ranger are both pretty mobile heroes, so it's going to be hard for the Centaur to actually catch up to them and land mm -hmm. the uh, the Inkswell. Going to protect their own runes. However, down here at the bottom, you do have Tiny and Phoenix should be able to steal these runes at this rate. Phoenix running in. He has a Blade Fury. Not going to use it, though, so it will go three for one in favor of uh, Thunder Predator. Uh, Jamari, of course, also using the bear down there. Help get the rune. As he yes, then doom, blocks. Doom support. <laughs> Not offering a ton in the very early stages of the game. I mean, yes, he can run up and Infernal Blade somebody, but pretty long cooldown. And he's just going to go Devour, so... I guess kind of like a jungling support Doom. That's what we're going to be seeing, at least initially. Yeah, we, uh, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, I, I want to say, because we have this, like, a Doom and an Axe, I believe, where the idea is potentially where he kind of just gets solo experience, allows his core in the lane to get solo experience, too, and maybe what they're ultimately going to try to accomplish here. But Phoenix Tiny, the pairing that they're going up against. So yeah, it doesn't seem like Juggernaut may necessarily be in the most trouble there, that Blade Fury yeah. defensive tool. At least not early. Uh, Infernal Blade is pretty good against both Phoenix and Tiny, since they are strength heroes. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen a position 5 Doom in a long time, and so I'm not really sure what he's actually going to be able to provide to this lane to ensure the Dragonite's farm, other than probably just soaking a bunch of damage and regening up as he can. It's funny you say that, because I, I, I want to say we saw Solo play it earlier um, for VP in one of their matches. So. So. By the way, this is, of course, one of two series going on right now. The Winter Finals, where on the mainstream is happening with South American Qualifiers, and, of course, that determines which team goes to the Major and which one will go to the Lower Finals and play the winner of this series. Uh, Pain Gaming versus Test123, also known as X Pain X, and... They are, it's a one nothing for Pain Gaming. The tune. Right there. He's going to die. He is dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's that Inkswell. And Wind Ranger will win, win run at level one, so no shackle or anything like that. It's no chance of saving. Yeah, and the tune just went for the Essence Shift at level one to try and trade. Just got stomped. Like you said, the only being level one, I think, is the biggest factor right there. As a the level start adding up, ideally, 
shouldn't it uh, doesn't happen again. Yeah. yeah, shouldn't be in trouble. But that's to the credit of Infamous Young though. They took advantage of the early level. Got the kill. So middle lane right now, six and one Tinker versus a five and one Lone Druid. So very back and forth. Obviously early. Not to uh, oversell what's happening there. I take what I please. Yeah, I think that both these heroes are probably just going to trade farm for the most part. Tinker will probably resort to shoving out the wave with March as the Druid gets a few more levels and the Bear gets stronger and stronger. I'll be back to finish this later. You die. Should get a decent timing on his boots of travel. Lives on. And likewise, the Druid should get decent timing on his Radiance if he does decide to go that direction. Um, although he does have... It looks like the components for a second Wraith Band in the works, so he may end up going that ranged build as well. Yeah, what was it, Ritsu, with the, with the five Wraith Band yesterday? <laughs> five Wraith Band. First time we've seen that. We've seen a lot of three Wraith Bands even, but uh, five was quite a bit. Five Wraith Band into Power Treads, I believe it was. Yeah. Running around at 380 movement speed, I think, with yeah. that. Pretty good. So Slark at the top lane. He is struggling early on. Only 6-0. and Center 8-1, and one, but again, now that he's died once already as well, he's playing very scared. He doesn't have his pounce yet even. He's level 2. He went the Dark Pact. But, uh, of course, Dark Pact potentially good against the Phantom's Embrace. If that comes in, you can see it. And, oh, nice Shackle. Oh. Wow. Lands on both. However... Oh, they're going to go back in, yeah. Oh, he missed the Stomp. He needed to be a little more patient. Atune running away. He's going to be fine. If Valky was a little more patient there, that probably is a kill. Yeah, that was a really weird time to use that stomp. I think he was trying to help the Grimstroke catch up, but Grimstroke has boots, so he's way faster than everybody else in the lane right he's now. He's going to hit level 3. Yeah, he hits level 3. He gets the pounce, and now Grimstroke may be in some trouble. The Dark Pact, he needs another attack. There's nice a good host stomp. stomp. Prevents a tune from getting the kill. TP out. Yeah, Grimstroke is fine. Valkyrie, he'll also be fine as he gets low, but blocks away. Doesn't have region on him currently, though. Oh, he had a tango. Bottom. Doom might be dead. Although, Juggernaut has something to say about that. Out comes that new avalanche with many stuns. He throws out the centaur stomp that he has devoured. It's not going to matter, though. He goes down. Blade Fury on top of Prada. Tiny's kind of, he's, okay, he's going to try oh, to toss it away. away. Nice but play. is it enough? Prada, no, he gets trapped. Walks on through. The Fire Spirits is going to keep him alive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was that was well played. Yeah, really nice play by Frank. Saving his buddy with that toss, getting him out of the Blade Fury range. Yeah. I was, uh, part of me almost wonders if he was trying to maybe get the Juggernaut eventually, but no. Let me see the Blade Fury still happening. So That was a good play, though, for sure, as they get on the board now with the hero kill. So, but Juggernaut, he's 21 and 3. He's still farming very efficiently. Probably expected. Yeah, that uh, little bit of an overextension, or the the missed combo in the top lane, it's allowed Atune to get a little bit more space than he would have had otherwise. And he's now starting to pull a bit ahead of the Centaur with those five denies. A couple more CS as well. Uh, Robo Z. Going for some bounties. Testing the bear. Yeah, is he going to get it? Oh, he gets it. Okay. Two for two. But now fighting ensues. Grimstroke. He's in a bad what spot. He's going to try to juke through the trees, run back in the center. Pops the ink. So they do have a shrine here. They are going to use it. Yeah, play it safe. Jamari, he's distracted in the middle end currently. He is thinking about maybe heading over now as the pounce leash on Valkyrie. He's just simply going to TP, though, and safe play. Good escape. Very awkward top lane going on right now. Yeah. Nobody in the lane for the last 30 <laughs> seconds or so. Creeps doing work. Valkyrie's happy about this. He's getting the wave right in front of his tower. We'll hit level 4 here soon. Grimstruck going to hit level 3. I wonder if he goes for the Phantom's Embrace or a second point in Inkswell. What do you think about um, Juggernaut and his build this game? Are we going to see the Battle Fury ultimately? Is I don't want to get at. Hmm. Um. Probably. Uh. Yeah. He does have a tinker. There is a tinker to push out the waves and create a lot of map pressure, but 
the same time, that does create a lot of space for Juggernaut to have farm and farming, um, getting a lot of space to farm. He's having a pretty good early game, so I don't see a problem going to Battle Fury mm -hmm. in this one. It's not like he needs to rush a Silver Edge in particular or anything like that. And not for you. with a carry like, like Jug or Void, it's kind of like... If you can get the Battle Fury, you just want to get it because it helps you get all items as fast as possible. Yeah. All right, we'll see what uh, Juggernaut decides here. But Tinker going to the jungle currently. As Longe will take full advantage. He's now 40 and 12, so obviously the deny is really kicking in for Jamari too. So have to say he is farming very well now. Triple Wraith Ban, he is going to go to Power Treads next. And he's going to put some damage into the tower as he pops that Spirit Link. That's running after the Tinker. Dyer's bottom tower is under offensive. laid on some arches. Tower yeah, he's, he's holding off and he keeps canceling it. Juking it right here. Oh, bottom lane. That was not a getting the kill on Frank as Pamplona went down, attack. though. I'm guessing Omni Slash it sure was. So one for one. Mid top lane. And him's embrace on Wind Ranger. Got the wind run off, though. And now Atune want to go back in. Dark Pact will allow him to get out of the hoof stomp quickly. Yeah, again, this top lane continues to be so chaotic. It's, it feels like back and forth. They're battling. Radiance middle tower is under yeah, Meanwhile, though, this uh, lone druid really, really pressuring Robo Z. Has the CS lead and still not using the march. Very Radiance interesting. Middle tower is under yeah, I'm wondering. Does that have something to do with the the, the soul link maybe and the, the bear? Like, is there a reason why he's being so conservative with that? But. Top lane again. The Hoofstomp actually did connect. The Shackle connected to a creep, though, with the Centaur. As the Inkswell explodes, Slark had to get out of there. Thinking about going back in. No pounds for 10 seconds, though. So just another case of trading a lot of hits. No actual kills as a result, though, however. And the Tier 1 tower mid is just down. Fortification. With basically, no contesting at all. There's the march, finally, but... <laughs> oh, Savage Roar. Good job. Middle tower just, and he's going to keep the bear alive. He's just going to deny it. No chance yeah. of getting a kill. Not very weird. He maxes the march, but doesn't even really bother to keep the wave off of his tower. I'm not a tinker player, but that yeah. seemed like it was too easy for Jamari. Yeah, again, I'm sitting here trying to think, like, is there a major reason for that? But Denied. either way, the, the spirit bear is back up, of course. And as tinker, that mid tier one tower is so important because it gives you so much map control and allows you to safely farm these jungle camps, but now it's pretty easy for Dyer to invade and, and find him when he's, you know, trying to get up to his boost of travel. Juggernaut is looking very good, however. 3,900 gold or net worth even as Grimstork comes bottom lane, throws out the Phantom's Embrace. However, Prada did Acre Step away. That's the downside of that ability, the Phantom's Embrace. It does take a bit of time to travel to the unit and it allows them to react. I mentioned that earlier with the Dark Pact from Slark. It has been nerfed as well to latch uh, much later in its travel time. It used to latch much closer, or much earlier. But now it has to be closer to the unit that it's trying to latch to. Okay. And yeah, Jamari, he's able to just rotate to this top lane. It's going to be another tier one tower down. In the first 10 minutes of the game. My trade towers here. Yeah, bottom tier one's going down from the bottom for the radiance. So in this sense, they're kind of trading objective for objective. But bounty rune spawn, and Matthew will go and pick up on his side. Make it a two for two. Ultimately, and they need to get the top one still. But there is a top tier one going down. And you do see Lone Druid currently with 1,800 gold saved up. So again, with with what we've been seeing, still expecting. This range build, so I don't think we're going to see a Maelstrom Sacred Relic next. coming out. Yeah, there's the Maelstrom. Okay. Dyer's middle oh, pounce in the middle lane, almost connected. Top tower but Robo Z top able to avoid it. Structures are fortified. Finishes up the bots. Pretty good time. And allow him to accelerate his farm, but he's missing two towers to TP to, so it's going to be more dangerous than it would have been otherwise. Sorry, just bare. The middle. How do they deal with this bear right now? He's so tanky. Yeah, that's a level four bear, and he's uh, nice shackle. no farm, but these shackles have been on point, haven't they, Matthew? Lining it up yet again. The rocket's going to come out, but they're just too fast. I mean, Lone Druid himself, he's running at 407 move speed just because. Good to light him. 
So they cannot catch up. Good kill and escape. And it does open up more farm for Slark, who got all the way to the Tier 2 tower before he makes his way to a... Oh, he finds a stack over here, even, that uh, was intended for Tinker. Thunder Predator playing very, very aggressively. Game. <laughs> Look at Tinker. He's like, God damn it. That was mine. He needs to ulti. Yeah, this is actually going to be close. Attune, yeah, he's not getting out. They do find him, and they do get the kill. So they collapse his four heroes, so Tinker was pissed off enough to get the whole squad to come over. Get the kill, but space created. Jug, more free farm in the top lane, though. So they're pretty happy about that. He's farming very, very well, heading towards that battle fury. He has the Perseverance finished. And keeping up well with Jamari, who has two tower kills to his name, and Juggernaut is only a few hundred gold behind. It's not in my nature, but... Yeah, Maelstrom's coming out now for Lone Druid. He obviously went the attack range talent, so if there wasn't confirmed yet, there you go. Seems the absolute confirmation there. Juggernaut top lane was running in. He has an Omni Slash. However, a tune pounces away. No chance getting caught. He's still going to go the hand of Midas this game. I think the last game was the case of, like, they were ahead by a bit. He just wanted to get, you know, the further ahead idea. I suppose Atune's just a really greedy player in general. Likes his yeah, Midas. definitely. And, you know, it could just be player preference where he just feels like Midas gives him what he wants on Slark every game. Root comes out the egg, and Centaur, all he can do is just watch as he burns to the ground. Oh, that was well played. Four heroes coming together on the dire side. There is backdoor protection up, though. And Atune gets caught in the jungle, so Doom used for that. Radiance bottom that kill Good commitment of that first Doom, killing the carry. Dyer's top tower is and uh, Dyer's top this Grimstruck definitely doing some work. It's 2 0 and 1, but it feels like he's kind of been in and around all of these kills. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, that was. Thunder Predator just spent 20 seconds hitting this tier 2 bottom tower, and they essentially did no damage because it was back to a protection the whole time. So I don't know what they were really planning to accomplish there, but. It's like it was that lost, but it was like they wanted the tower kill, but guys, that's not how the mechanics work. <laughs> Anyways, um, they do get back, but yeah, in the meantime, Slark got picked off, as we mentioned, and he does. Uh, oh, no, that's a Phoenix Hanamitis. Okay, so <laughs> Prada once again, too. I like their Hanamitis. Yeah, these guys, I mean, against the Tinker, it's always a decent item. You can expect the game to go longer than normal. Bought him. They're trying to go for the kill, and Nada's just too tanky. And Matthew has another power shot in two though. seconds. The war, they kill it. He has too much life, though. Yeah, it's tiny. He's showing off that blink dagger. Unfortunately, did not get a kill with it, however. Dyer's middle tower is under Juggernaut attack. Juggernaut close to finishing that battle fury, as we mentioned. Top lane, Centaur is trying to run away Double from this lone damage. druid. Which, uh, he's trying to keep close enough, maybe get the bear with an entangle proc. Not going to happen, but now Jamari has to be careful himself. Hasn't died yet. Rocket's flying in. He'll just run. On the bottom lane, they might try and go on this Juggernaut again. Doom hanging out, though. No Doom for 40 seconds, however. Catches Phoenix, but Icarus Dive is ready. Yeah, just straight hit him, Lydus, by the way. No boots even. Picked up a stick, but <laughs> just going right into it. So greedy. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Kind of crazy, even. And you have, you have your Wind Ranger also going to Blink Dagger first. So who the hell's buying wards on this team? Smart money. They have an aggressive uh, ward down here. Yeah. It's about to wear out though. Other than that ward, they actually don't have a ward on the map. So I mean that's no, there is one in, in their mid lane as well. But yeah, it's just a very very greedy approach. The tiny going for the Shadow Blade next. Every coin helps. Well, that's a Sentry ward. They only have one Observer ward, and that's down here, on the left side of the map. So. <clears throat> Slark almost has the hand of Midas. Speaking of greed, just about there. Phoenix does have 1200 gold saved up, so whatever item he has next to mind. But yeah, Wind Ranger is going to buy the Blink first, so it's going to be somewhat of a dark map for the time being. A tune. This is very greedy from both teams, to be honest. The Battle Fury Jug, the Tinker, Doom support. Centaur who needs a Blink Dagger, and Grimstruck who wants as much farm as possible also. Oh, there you go. The Soul Binds up on two. 
Spinning on top, pops the Phoenix egg though. Matthews trying to get out the avalanche coming in. The egg, the this be protected. It's going to go off in the end. And Grimstruck will definitely fall. The stun hits on a centaur on top of that. Jamari just putting an auto attack. He can't do enough though, as Nana's running down Frank. He does get the kill, but at what cost? A Doom applied too low and drew the power shot. No, but it got the Blade Fury off right before the power shot connected. The rocket hits. Lone Druid's dead. Shrine, can he get to the shrine in time? He can. Oh, <laughs> one more tick. And he was wow. dead right there. Matthew also evading. Dyer's and he somehow makes it out. Attack. A tune? He's thinking about going back in again. Not going to, though. That Ooh. still went quite well for Infamous Young, considering that they were not able to kill that egg. Yeah. Very nice Savage Roar protecting the egg with one hit left. And uh, not a whole lot of action coming out from the Soulbind, but pretty good fight with that Battle Fury Omni Slash doing a ton of work. Yeah, having that Battle Fury now, and did he buy a Yasha, I'm guessing? Yeah, he's got the Yasha and the Mantas. Going to come next for Juggernaut, who's been farming very well this game. Top net worth for him. If I got this Lone Druid, I mean, again, we saw him in that last fight. He's not the, not the scariest right now. He was kind of hitting the Centaur a bit, and his right clicks can hurt, but again, it's just really not the most threatening at this point. doesn't have any kind of upfront burst damage. Still uh, needs a bit more farm before he's going to be a target to be feared Dyer's in these upcoming fights. This Tinker, man, he's almost got an eighth of lens now. So yeah, now we have Robo Z quite a bit online, it's safe to say. But I guess the Hand of Minuses have been completed. Slark's finishing his, of course, shortly after that fight. Start to see progress as a result of that. Bottom tower's going down in the meantime. They catch Doom with a shackle. It's too much of a commitment, though. In some sense, the, the greedy nature of this Wind Ranger and Phoenix makes a little bit of sense against the Tinker. Not only just because the game may go longer, but because those are two of the heroes that are going to be looking to catch him. Oh, they are going bottom big time. They catch out Nana. He gets a spin off at the last second, though, and he's going to be able to run away. The Phoenix save obviously not really hitting Nana. TPing away, Grimstroke playing a distraction. Both the Centaur and Juggernaut get out. I think Grimstroke, though, the end might be near for him. Shackle connects, and there's the follow-up kill. So they get one target in the end. Not the ideal, of course, but at least they get something. Where's Slark? Oh, he's with them. He needs to get that Shadow Blade before he's going to feel scary, especially against the Tinker. It's going to be big to have on the Slark. Also on Tiny, who's actually going his and going to have it soon at this rate. Yeah, all the tools they can muster to find this Tinker in a nice early ward by Matthew. Got him. Oh, he's going to go for it. That's Tiny coming. There's the combo and there's the kill. Tinker failure, soldier. Yeah, the Tinker ward, perfect timing right there. Not going to catch him. So, as you mentioned, South America's specialty. It's not only good for the Tinker players, played it all the time, but... These players are used to playing against the Tinker all the time. So they know all about those wards and how they move. Yep, he's going to have to be oh. much more careful. <laughs> that actually worked. I was, I was going to say, he, there's a full creep wave there, so it's probably going to bounce to it, and it did. I was like, oh, he's not going to get the kill initially. And then, you know, he, he killed the creep wave, and he killed him on top of that. Before that new that, Omni Slash. Yeah. Wouldn't have happened otherwise. Yep, that Battle Fury also helping. And he's moving in over. He's getting very aggressive, meanwhile. He's running into several here, El Savage Roar, but Nana got his spin off again. He's been very clutch with that. The timing about the entangle now that he's super devil, but the three heroes all together. Stampede and Grimstroke with a perfect combo. On top of that, the Soulbind. Lone Druid and Wind Ranger just smell. The Phoenix A goes off, but essentially did nothing. And now Prada. Nice snipe by the Grimstruck there. Yeah, he's dead. On Phoenix, exactly. That, that's all, they were just clumped up as three. And the soul buying came out, and see you later. And I think we have confirmed that it does not bond to the bear, right? Because it did go to the, the Wind Ranger. I suppose so, yeah. I mean, they were on top of one another. True. But 100% confirms it. Something we can test in practice really easily. But yeah, 2,000 net worth lead now for 
infamous young. Definitely the best we've uh, we've seen of them so far. Seems like yeah, going absolutely. To they uh, hey, it turns out when you don't pick a tinker and get immediately countered by a storm spirit, you have a much better game. And uh, not a, having a very good performance on this juggernaut as well. Yeah, probably the best the best carry uh, performance we've seen from him so far. Yeah, I think that 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 to me is the biggest key. This game is. His Juggernaut is a massive threat right now, and Lone Druid and Slark aren't these heroes that are, I feel like they're going to, you know, be at least okay against that. The Omni Slash is going to tear right through them, and especially more so the Slark, but Lone Druid, he is going to go on MKB next. He went the, he went the Mjolnir, so he's going to continue going a very aggressive kind of glass cannon build on his Lone Druid as they kill the Roshan and pick up the Aegis for Juggernaut. Already a massive issue again. And he's yeah, not pulling. Also, yeah, go ahead. I think we also see that Tiny is definitely not the offlaner that he once was without the ability to deny creeps with, you know, 200 base damage with True. the tree. He does have an Echo Saber now, though, too. An upfront burst. We've seen Juggernaut a couple times, you know, get away after the initial jump. Or more so, as I was going to say, he, he's been a great at reacting with his, his Blade Fury. Popping it as soon as they're about to jump him, it feels like. Which mitigates plenty, of course, as they take out the tier 2 bottom. And Nada's going to keep on going. He's got the Aegis. He's got really good farm. Why not? He's feeling pretty invincible right now. We'll see if he's overstepping his bounds a little bit. But with the Tinker backup and the ability to just Blade Fury like that, Gonna back off until Healing Ward comes back up. Man, Healing Ward is 60 second cooldown now. I didn't even realize how long it was. Mm -hmm. It's but quite a long one. Looks like they're gonna Radiance middle figure out what to do next. They don't have a creep wave mid, so they're kind of in no man's land at the moment. They may just wait and then try and finish off this tier three. Once the next creep wave comes up, he does have Blade Fury up again. Healing Ward coming off a cooldown very soon. Yeah. Tinker's trying to take care of that as he's pushing out the middle lane now, of course. Radiant structures are fortified. What? Does have to be careful of the toss back, however. Mm-hmm. Very true. Man, with that lone druid on the Mjolnir, and now a dragon lance as well, so yeah, his range. God, what are we looking at? Dyer's middle tower. Five fifty plus two ninety, so essentially what eight forty range on him right now. That's pretty absurd. Approaching sniper status. Yeah. Tune was looking for a pickoff on the Tinker, but it looks like he's just going to go farm, probably cut the wave when it comes up. Dyer's middle tower he's in tier 2 for the Juggernaut. Yeah, that's going to be the last outer tower going down in favor of the Radiant uh, as Tinker. Mots in. Nope, you canceled. Going to go top instead. Yeah, they cut in the creep wave again from Slark. So they are going to keep them out of their base at this time, and oh, Slark might be in trouble. He got the dark packed off. He needs to shadow dance on a run. He's going to do that. Shadow blade still two seconds, but they can't catch up to him. Oh, four staff completed on the Grimstroke. Very good item against Slark. Breaking the pounce. We've got a full Mjolnir now on this Juggernaut. Oof. He's got crazy attack speed during this Omni Slash. Yeah, and again that goes back to the Omni Slash change and. It's uh, intense damage that he's going to be putting out, especially with the Battle Fury Cleave on top of that. So He also gets, gets 10 armor talent, by the way, at level 20 that he chose to pick up right there. So, so much more. <laughs> even that much harder to kill. He is completely alone here in the mid lane. So yeah. He needs to be a little careful, but at this point, Thunder Predator Dyer's really not looking to fight. Is under attack. Jamari. You're going to try and pressure Radiant's this bottom lane and see if you can force anybody back. Uh, he is going to come in, realizing it's going to be a lost cause because this tier 3 is dying as a fourth in the last second. Getting out of the half life. Nice shackle. Can they at least get the Aegis burn here? It uh, doesn't look like it. Too much team support. Uh, he needs to make sure this doesn't get sniped, the healing word, I mean. And they kill you. you see they're pinging it out, but he's doing a good job of microing it away. Slark's trying to flank somebody over here, but there are there are sentries, so of course has to be very now, careful about that. Now he knows. He's gonna get the courier. courier has been oh, nothing on it, I believe, but 
No. Still. Annoying. So a slow push here from Infamous. Uh, Infamous Young, that is, is working. They're going to get the range racks at this rate, it looks like. And Robo Z just spamming that march, making it very difficult for Thunder Predator to, to start a fight in the first place. So Robo Z is getting a little bit lower on mana. Might have to TP out soon as he does right there. Melee racks, though. It probably is just going to fall at this point. Yeah, they, they can't defend it. So the very slow, stable push from Infamous Young comes through. They got the racks, but now this time they're going to burn the Aegis. Can they kill him after the fact? That's the up front burst from Tiny. It's going to be a cooldown here now. Savage Roars, he comes back up, but they do not have the jump again. Stampede. Whoa, they're going after Slark. A tune. <laughs> He's, He's going like, to get stunned. Yeah, he is. Shadow Blade is not ready to actually Silver Edge now, by the way. But nope, the Doom comes out, and he is dead. No buyback for 48 seconds, but no creep waves available, really, to try and go for a second set of racks here. So they're going to reset. Drug's going to go push out the bottom wave. He does need to be careful as there are a number of members from Thunder Predator here in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. Dyer's top shrine has fallen. Yeah, Juggernaut. Double pushing that out. Damage. As he mentioned, though, they are here. And they don't have vision of him yet. They are going to see him in a second. He pops out. They're going to go for this. Maybe? No, maybe not. Yeah, they, they don't have the jump without Tiny, so... And actually, Juggernaut does have a jump. He's got a blink now that he just picked up. Destroys the bear. And that's on cooldown. So I'm going to wait 20 seconds before it is back up. God, Prada just went. He still doesn't have boots. He just has a Midas and a Shiva's guard. <laughs> He's got Icarus type, man. He's fine. He can fly, okay? Ooh, nice reaction. Blink away from Matthew as God, oh, okay, that's interesting. Anyways, Robo Z gets caught. Yeah, he was way too up there. Not as also he was spinning. He's uh he's in trouble. He's gonna be stunned by the avalanche. He's dead too. That that felt so odd. Centaur is also caught up by the shackles. Uh, pounce in from a tune, and that is a quite a swing from that fight. Another Tinker War. Well clean. Well, it takes a couple of fights like that to really change the momentum of the game. Yeah. I don't know that that, that was so awkward too, though, because not a types on the Gato. I don't know if he's trying to do like a team chat or something, but and he accidentally typed an old chat right there as that fight started. But they uh, they seemed a little off. Why are you even typing in the middle of a game? Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm thinking, right? As, as like as a fight's breaking out too, so he might have just accidentally hit it. I don't know, but either way, it's uh, obviously big for Thunder Predator. And just before that fight, I want to say it's about a six thousand net worth lead. Uh, it's down to one thousand, so that's quite a swing. And and Lone Druid, he's got a full Hurricane Pike now. He's going to still build that MKB, and when he has the MKB, especially, he will be a massive threat even for this juggernaut. It, this ranged lone druid build from Radiance back when it was popular, has fallen. it's uh, it's pretty scary as far as melting buildings. I mean, even the bear without any items does extra damage, and then just the fact of how far away you can stand and how quickly you can just pump in the damage mm -hmm. from distance with the lone druid. And really, aside from the centaur with the stampede, infamous young have really no way of closing in on Jamari safely. And they can blink the Juggernaut. Tinker can blink in, but as we saw in that last fight, Tinker needs to be very careful of where he's positioning himself. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do have a blink on Doom now as well, so they got some gap closers here with him and the Centaur. You can see some bounty room control. Meanwhile, um, what was I going to say? That? Oh, yeah. Lone Druid, so he is coming towards the MKB. I was going to say as Radiant's pinging over here, they didn't have vision on that smoke. Uh, Jug. Juggernaut's in trouble. Oh, are they going to go? They see him. They're pinging like crazy. A double smoke. They're going to run into each other. Wind Ranger opens with a shackle, catches the Grimstroke off the path of the Omni Strike and the two views. And they take out Sark right away. The bear is dead as well. The the uh, ulti from Grimstroke oh, on the two. A lone them. druid and tiny just meld. Yeah. They were locked together. And now Phoenix, no way he's getting out either. All right. Well, just like that, the game swings back the other way, and it's going to be... And they call sure. GG. Really? I mean... 
Radiant that seems like a very early GG. But Lone Druid was dead for 50 seconds, I suppose. Yep. No Tiny either. Yeah. It's really just the, the Phoenix without an egg and an underfarmed Slurk. But, <laughs> well, I want to look at the graph on this one. It's going to have a couple of swings, right? Because, yeah, the, it was starting to go in favor of Thunder Prender and then all of a sudden right back up for <laughs> uh, for Infamous Young right there at the end. That it, they had it, they had like a, a second window right there to jump the juggernaut with that smoke plate. They chose to be a little bit cautious with it though, and then eventually they kind of ran in, and obviously they ran into the counter smoke and um, the shackle. It only hit Grimstork initially, and that Omni Slash just melted Slark off the bat as well. Yeah, so. that, that salt line too on the the Lone Druid and the Tiny is just. I mean, Tinker plus Soul Bind is gross. Yeah. Here we go. We got game three. This is to move on for the lower finals here of the South American qualifiers for the China Major. Looking forward to seeing how it all plays out now. Infamous Young versus Thunder Predator. Game number three on Breaky CPK. Joined by Elevated. Stay tuned, guys. Got that game three coming up next. <laughs> 